And they announced a Joker standalone Elseworlds kind of movie. I was ridiculously excited because I had been and continue to this day have, was crying and whining about why does every effing comic book thing have to be in a shared cinematic universe? Remember when they made comp, like comic book movies that were just stories about unique heroes that were unique in their world that they lived in? Remember standalone movies? Some of the greatest films, the greatest films of all time are standalone movies. And the comic books themselves do standalone stories. Why can't comic book movies? It's not either or, it's both and. Why can't we have a great cinematic universe and why can't we have some standalone stories? Anyway, they announced Joker and Joaquin Phoenix. And a lot of people, I mean, they'll deny it today, but I remember a lot of people this is stupid. Nobody cares about a Joker movie without Batman. You can't have it without Batman. Then nobody's going to care. Blah, 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 blah. I was super excited about it because it was finally a comic book company doing a movie that was going to be a standalone, isolated thing. I thought it was great. And sure enough, uh, the movie did terrific. Now, they've got a sequel coming out that was something we never thought they would do. But they're, when that movie makes a billion dollars, eh, you think about making a sequel. And then they really rock the boat when they announced that Lady Gaga was going to be coming in to play Harley Quinn. Well, we often talk about the tangibilization of stuff. Well, here's it. The movie's now shot. It's done. Now, it still has post-production to go through and all that kind of stuff, but Todd Phillips got on social media to announce that the photography of the film is now wrapped. And it's in the can. And also, they released a very interesting image that I don't know if others have seen it so far, but I have not which is Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. And I don't know about you. I mean, this is not the same kind of image we would have in our heads of like, say, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn or of the animated shows Harley Quinn. But I'll tell you what, I look at this image. I think this is very disturbing. <laughs> I, I find this and it's the eyes. I think it's the eyes for me. This is a tremendously it's disturbing. Eyes. It's the eyes, man. That looks disturbing. Now, I I still don't know how I feel about Lady Gaga. I, I really still don't. And I, I myself have been on an interesting journey because for a while, I did not know what I thought of her as a singer. And I, I'm still not 100% sure. While I've really liked her in the two things I've seen, Star is Born and most recently... The Giuseppe's. Um, House, of House of Gucci. Gucci. Yes. <laughs> you think as an Italian, I would remember the name. The Giuseppe's. Is good. Meet That's the Giuseppe's. Awesome. Meet, meet the Giuseppe's. That's the yes. new there series go. I'm going to launch on Peacock. From Ben Stiller. <laughs> From Ben Stiller. Meet the Giuseppe's. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, and now I, I always just thought she was like a, like a, you know, she's a pop singer, nothing real. And I then my I changed my mind on Lady Gaga when I'll never forget this, it was the Academy Awards. And they said, uh, now coming out to pay tribute to uh, The Sound of Music. And that, what, what was the song she sang? They caught, just, I, what, which one was it? Didn't you do like a medley, like a 12 minute medley? Of, of The Sound of Music stuff? Yeah. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but they say Lady Gaga. And I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be painful. And holy shit. She went out there and belted and i'm like i am never gonna doubt her as a singer again like oh my god she was incredible and then when she was gonna be in a star is born i thought come on a pop star because 99 percent of the time 90 percent of the time it does not work out well but i mean she got a if i'm not mistaken she got an oscar nomination mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for that and then she was in house of gucci and listen think what you want about house of gucci i know some people really like it some people really don't I think there are people in this room who really like it, people in this room who really don't. Yep. But <laughs> she, was, she was great. I thought she was great. I thought Adam Driver was great. I don't care what anybody says. I thought Jared Leto was great. I wish they all thought they were in the same movie. <laughs> that would be an, <laughs> That could have been a yes, tweet. That could have, yep, that could have made it a little bit different. Um, so seeing her pop up in this is, to me, that this image again, just going back to this thing, this looks absolutely great and i am dying now knowing the tone of the first joker movie and seeing this image and kind of envisioning what we could get out of her here is pretty cool but listen make no mistake about it this movie has big clown shoes to fill 
because they didn't say big clown shoes energy. This guy's got big clown shoes energy. This movie has a lot to live up to. Because we often talk about how great Joker movie. Yep, yeah, but let's remember how much success it had. Check this out. The movie made $1.07 billion at the box office. The Joker is a billion dollar club movie. That's something Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness couldn't do. That's something a Thor movie couldn't do. That's something a Dwayne The Rock Johnson Black Adam movie of couldn't course. do. That's something. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> That's. I, I mean, mean, I don't even think Morbius. Uh, we'll check the figures. Yeah, I think I, Morbius I, did. No, 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 let's not get yeah. crazy. Let, I, look, come on. That's unfair to compare it to Morbius. <laughs> I'm sure Mor Morbius beat it. But it won two Academy Awards, including the first time ever Best Actor went to a comic book movie with uh, Joaquin Phoenix. And it also won Best Music, which is great. But lest people forget, it had as many Academy Award nominations as Lord of the Rings Return of the King did. 11 nominations, including nominations for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Cinematography, Best Costume Design, Best Hair and Makeup, Best Editing, Best Sound, Best Sound Editing. I mean, it was, it was truly one of the greatest cinematic achievements of the year. And that is what Joker 2 has got to try to live up to. It ain't going to be easy. But I am excited for this nonetheless. Anyway, Chris, you had a chance to see the image. Mm -hmm. They've completed filming it. Where's your expectation like right now? And what did you think about the image of Gaga as Harley Quinn? Well, first of all, big clown shoes is my entire dating history. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's been. Um, uh, it's a great image. It's very, very disturbing and compelling. I, I really enjoy the aesthetic they have going on here. That being said, I was one of those people who was excited to have standalone movies. I've talked about that a lot on this show with you guys about how I'd love to have just contained universe things. Joker wasn't it for me. So much so, if you're a longtime fan of this show, you know I retconned the ending in my brain. was like, thank God he dies at the end. And everyone in the room was like, no, Chris. No, he doesn't. Because um, this was a movie I needed to see once. And I went, oh, never again. I know who this kind of person is. I'm good. Um, so I'm not particularly jazzed about this one. Uh, I'm, I'm sure other people are very, very excited. It has a big following. It did great numbers the first time. Lady Gaga is a tremendous performer. She's a great singer. She does incredible work live. She was so good on American Horror Story. She was incredible in A Star is Born. I am not a big fan of her in House of Gucci. Um, and I got more and more turned off the more I'd listened to her talk about her approach in that film of just some of her <laughs> acting tactics and things. And, you know... That, that was part of just because I was going at the time to all those SAG nomination uh, screens right. and everything. And By the way, I love this you, image, too. This image oh, it's is a great. great one. Like, these stills are really great and compelling. I just, I wish that I was truly compelled to see this. I still will because that's my job. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm not super, super thrilled about this. But maybe it'll turn around for me. Maybe I'll see this movie and just, it'll totally blow well, back my head. This kind of just looks like Sid and Nancy. A little bit. And it should. It should have a little bit of a Sid and Nancy yeah. feel to it, right? Like the way of approach. Like I just, oh God, all the images. I've just loved the images we've been seeing coming out of this. And uh, God, I'm excited for it. I am I am really excited for it. I remember uh, the first time I saw it, I went to advanced screening. And I had a bunch of, of passes for it with me. So I took Aaron and I took Rob and I took Aaron's husband. Tom came along and Ann came with us and... I remember we just all came out really buzzed about it. But hey, listen, it's also a movie that is very, very different from um, – it's it's also – sorry, getting text messages from my wife who's on jury duty today. Oh, cool. um, she's telling me all about the case. How many people did they kill? No, um, she's not. So I, it's a movie that is very different from what people traditionally expect from Joker, right? It's very, very different. It's also very heavy. It's also – disturbing and it's not a movie that is for everybody and we saw that when the first one came out right like so like chris you're not alone i mean that th no. it's not a film that worked for everybody but guys the question is for you what do you think about this i mean they have now finished wrapping shooting the joker to fall de zoo a do a zoo you think somebody who took like seven <laughs> years of french i would know how to do that's a brand new one they're doing what do you think what do you think about the images that we've been seeing coming out of it too how much are you looking forward to the movie or maybe you're not looking forward to it at all whatever you guys think jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there
We want to take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. And there's no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. You'll be feeling like Gordon frickin' Ramsay in no time. And guys, look, we're always looking for more ways to save money. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I've told you guys before, Anne and I love using HelloFresh. Not only is it really easy to put together fantastic looking and tasty meals, but it's also a lot of fun and you get this really great sense of accomplishment when you're looking at this prepared dish that you've made with your own hands. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 and use the code Campia50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 and using the promo code Campia50 for 50% off your first box ships free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.